What is going on, you guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Pack and Play on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. We're going to go ahead and open up our 10 packs to get our team kick started, and we're going to see what we can get. There are some new football outsiders in the game. There's, a, uh, I think, a 90 overall limited edition. I don't even know if it's limited edition or not, but there is a 90 overall Devin Hester. Of course, Devin Hester just broke the record for most return touchdowns, surpassing Deion Sanders last night. Amazing performance by the Atlanta Falcons and Devin Hester, of course. Let's go ahead and see what that card's looking like. Um, it'd be really cool to pull him. I would definitely use it for my team. Uh, the football outsiders are out. There's like a DeMarco Murray and a couple of other guys. There's the Devin Hester. Let's go see what this, the smallest price is here for him. Looks like he's going for 191k. And I'm not too sure if this is limited edition or if it's just in packs for whatever. I don't know exactly what it is. I haven't really looked at the tweets today. Um, but he does have 97 speed, 87 awareness, 90 catching, 97 elusiveness, 86 spectacular catch, 78 release, 82 route running, and 90 catch in traffic. So an actually good card for uh, Devin Hester as a receiver as well as not only just a returner, but he is a really good receiver as well. So there's definitely a lot of good cards in the game that we can pool. Um, other football outsiders, of course, DeMarco Murray. Let's go ahead and take a look at him real quick. Uh, DeMarco Murray ran all over the Titans. Um, very, very bad performance by our defense. Um, and there's the DeMarco Murray right there, 87 overall. And he's rocking 94 speed, 94 carrying, 96 ball carrier vision with 94 trucking. Um, yeah, if I pull that, I'm going to be a very, very happy person. So um, I will go ahead and see if there's any other football outsiders we could take a look at. Just to let you guys know of some updates in the game before we get these packs going. And see what we can get. So football outsiders. And let's just go through and see if there's anything new that we can actually see. Um, I think this Henderson is new. Let's see. if yeah, Week 2. Um, so Central Henderson of the Buffalo Bills. We have Jason Verrett. I think that's actually from Week 1. Uh, what else we got here? DJ Swearinger is from Week 1. JR Sweezy. Is that Week 1 or is that Week 2? That's Week 1. Quentin Coples. It's hard to keep track. I don't remember exactly. Quentin Copels, here we go. Week 2, 85 speed for Copels. And he's actually a right outside linebacker. 90 tackle, 85 block shed, um, 69 zone coverage. Pretty good player. Definitely would be very happy to pull that as well. So there's definitely a lot of cards in the game that would definitely help my team that are some promo cards. Even this punter right here, Ryan Allen. Uh, 97 kick power. Damn. Really good punter right, out, um, right off the bat here. We don't usually get punters like that until later on in the year but let's go ahead and start this of course we're going to open up 10 packs we have 79k on our farm account and that should be good enough for 10 so i mean sometimes it's hard to keep track while i'm pulling and if i open up one too many i'll definitely just uh you know not use the cards that i get and just sell them or whatever for more coins but let's go we're going to start this off right now pack number one let's see what we can get of course pack and play uh, uh for people that don't know um i open up 10 packs to start we use the cards from those 10 packs to make a team. And then for every single win I get in head-to-head -head seasons, I open up one more pack. And for the playoffs, I'll open up two packs. And a Super Bowl victory, I'll open up three. Usually, I would go by, if I scored 14 points, I would open up like two packs. I won by two scores. But, I mean, it is kind of still the beginning of the game. There's not a lot of coins to do that. Uh, maybe at the end of the year, I'll change it up. But for now, we're just going to go one pack per win. So, Brandon Bear, pretty cool name. Uh, Dolphins away uniform, John Brown, Isaiah Trufant. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if he's any good. 90 speed, 76 man, 71 zone, 5'8". I cannot stand small corners. Dallas Thomas. And we get ourselves Josh McCown. So that might be our starting quarterback, guys. One pack, and we get a quarterback, 76 speed, 87 throw accuracy, medium, 87 throw accuracy, uh, short, not, uh, 84 throw power. I don't really like really... Um, short throw or you know throw power quarterbacks it might not be the best card for me to use it's not kind of my style but we'll go ahead and see uh if we're stuck with him for our quarterback i guess it's not too bad but i definitely do not want to use him if uh i absolutely have to let's so hope we get a better quarterback than that isa abdul kudas this is actually a really good player 92 speed six foot one um i definitely could use him as my user player for sure i've been using him since like madden 10 uh, Caleb Schuler Def. What else we got in here? Jordan Miller. Desmond Trufant. Let's see how tall this guy is. 5'11, 91 speed, 87 man, and 82 zone. Pretty good corner. Definitely happy to have that guy. Robert Golden and Jari Lattimore. 
go ahead and move on to the next one here and see what we can get. I'm really hoping to get one of those football outsiders. Definitely helped my team out a lot. Uh, Winston Guy, Brad Smelly, one of the best names in football. Marvin Lewis, Garrett McIntyre. We get ourselves Dante Hightower. Let's go. We get a good linebacker. 81 speed, 94 tackle, 89 block shedding, 90 pursuit, and 78 zone. Definitely a really good linebacker for me to use right out of the gate. Randy Bullock, good kicker. Um, 88 kick power, 81 kick accuracy. I mean, if we don't have a kicker, uh, he's actually going to be pretty decent for me. I don't really kick too many field goals, but you always want to have someone that can be able to hit him. And he can't actually hit him from deep, only 88 kick power, so it might not be the best one to use. Austin Pastor, <clears throat> Texan Stadium, Joaquin Williams. I actually think this guy's fast. 85 speed, 72 tackle. So he does have the speed, he has the height, and he has the pursuit and acceleration, but doesn't really have the tackle too much. I guess 72 isn't too bad. Uh, James Casey, look at that. We actually get a really good fullback, 82 speed, 86 catching. Definitely someone to throw out of the backfield and hand up up the middle. I think we're going to get a lot of uh, touchdowns with James Casey at the one-yard line for sure. Uh, Jeff Demps, look at that. We actually get a really, really, really fast running back, but unfortunately his carrying is very low. If I do use him, it'll be for you know running to the outside or maybe even that kick returner. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll end up using him or not. I really don't want to take risks and fumble. I haven't played many online head-to-head -head games at all, so this is going to be kind of a new experience for me on this game. Um, I'm not too sure how the fumbles work online and... And how often they happen, so might get a little bit ridiculous. Brock Osweiler, we get another quarterback here. Uh, 93 throw power, 81 throw accuracy short, 78 medium, 74 deep. I might actually use that instead if I don't have a quarterback. I actually like strong arm quarterbacks a lot more. Jeremy Zuda, we get a center here, 84 strength, 81 run block, 85 pass block. Not bad. Go ahead and move on here and see what we can get. <clears throat> nothing, nothing there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next pack. I think this is pack number five. I could be wrong. Devon Wiley, really fast receiver um, in real life, I guess, not here. 91 speed. Uh, Titans actually had him. Pretty good return guy. Khalid Holmes, never even heard of that guy before. And we get a Mike Cypress. Look at that, guys. We get another punter here <laughs> that we could use, or another special teams player we could use. 84 kick power. 80, 84 kick power? I thought he was way better than that. I thought he had a lot more kick power than that. Atiba Rubin, uh, 59 speed, wow. 93 tackle, 92 block shed, and 94 strength. That's actually really, really, really good. I might use him at defensive tackle instead of left end because that's pretty good. And then we get a Brian Quick. Don't have too many receivers. 84 speed, and that's pretty much it. An 85 spectacular catch, 72 catching. 84 release, 6 foot 3. I guess, you know, that's actually a pretty good card. Especially for what my team's going to look like. That's definitely going to help me out a little bit. Um, I'm just really banking on getting a running back. If I don't get a running back, I'm going to get nervous. Buccaneers home. Marqu Mar Marcus Wilson. Uh, Marcus Martin. Two different ways to spell Marcus, I guess. Russell Bodine. And Josh McCown again. I guess it really, really, really wants me to use Josh McCown. Man. Gabe Karimi. And Rashaw Johnson. So Josh McCown, I guess it really does want me to use Josh McCown. Hopefully it's just trolling me. Hopefully we'll get a better quarterback as we go on. But I'm probably going to use Brock Osweiler. I'm not going to lie. I think I'll really like using him instead. Uh, ben Ajalana, Marvin Lewis, Zach Minter. What else do we get here? Mike Harris. And we get Kirk Cousins. There we go. We actually get a quarterback that we can use. Let's see what he's looking like. 68 speed, 88 throw power, 93 short, 92 medium, and 86 deep. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit on the short side of having a big arm at 88 throw power. But you know what? I'll take it. It's a lot better than using Josh McCown. Uh, I think I'll have a lot of fun using that guy right there. I thought it was going to be DeMarco Murray. I'm not even going to lie about that. When I saw Green pop up, I... Pretty much crap my pants. Uh, six foot six receiver here, 82 speed. Rams is Barden. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, I just looked back at the recording. I put a little, you know, text up there saying that there was a problem with my Elgato. I don't know what happened. As soon as I pulled that second uh, Josh McCown, it kind of froze. And I tried to move it over to, like, on the Elgato, it'll show the little time track. And it was actually stuck at, like, six seconds for some reason. I don't even know what the hell that meant. And I moved it over to the right. And it wasn't actually showing that it was recording anything, but it was still on the record. So I figured it would work. I guess not. 
Um, I did end up finishing out the packs, and I will show you my lineup right here. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the Kurt Cousins pull on uh, video, but you did hear my reaction to getting it. There he is right there. Um, not a bad card at all. Definitely, I could definitely use that card. 68 speed, 88 throw power, 93 throw accuracy short, 92 medium, 86 deep, and 88 play action. Um, definitely better than Josh McCown. I really don't want to use him at all. Uh, but other than that, I really didn't get anything else. Um, my receivers are very, very, very tall, but also very slow. They don't have really good catching, so everything I do through the air is going to have to be really, you know, short and kind of like uh, throw to my, you know, possession guys instead of throwing to my speed guys. Not going to get too many touchdowns through the air. Uh, I don't have a tight end. I'm actually using the Titans long snapper, Bayou Brinkley. Um, offensive line is definitely uh, not the best, but it's pretty good, I guess, for not having anything at all. <laughs> we got Jokel and Zuda. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit more uh, respectable, I guess. We got Joquin Williams, Reggie Walker, and Dante Hightower. Of course, of Alabama, I know someone's going to make a comment about that. <coughs> Josh. Uh, we got Issa abdul Kadas, Eric Hag, Desmond Trufant, Jadavian Clowney. I have no idea what I tried to say there. Sammy Lee Hill. Um, I have no idea who this is. Jordan Miller. But I am going to put Atiba Rubin here. Um, he's definitely a better defensive tackle than he is right end. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to set it up for my first game. I'm not going to set it up right now because it's going to be too much work to try to figure out what I, exactly I want to do to make my team better. Uh, the Richard Sherman here is the card that we got for free, like, I think the beginning of the game, and it's actually terrible now at 81 speed. Not going to use him at all. I'll have to find a different corner to use. Maybe this Marcus Harris, um, or Mike Harris, I'm sorry. Isaiah Trufant's actually pretty decent, but uh, we're going to have to see. I don't know. I'll set it up. I'll set everything up for my first game. Just sucks that I wasn't able to get the entire video. Um, but, you know, I really didn't pull anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Mike Cyphers is my punter. Randy Bullock is my kicker. And I think for my return man, like I said, I'm going to use Chris Rainey. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much everything that I pulled. Uh, I will have a video up tomorrow, my first gameplay, and I'm probably going to lose. I haven't played this game online yet, only one game. The first game you saw, I think the second day of the game being out when I ran for like 250 yards with Monty Ball. Shout out to Fuggle. So if you do enjoy my videos and you want to go ahead and subscribe, if you don't know what Pack and Play is, you're definitely going to know because I'm going to have it up every single day. Go ahead and click that subscribe button bottom right corner in the annotation. If you do watch my videos all the time and you love Pack and Play and you've been waiting for this all year, since, you know, the game's only been out for like a month. Uh, I told you I'd get it up very soon, as soon as I got to a million coins, and that didn't take too long at all. Go ahead and like the video. Definitely helps my channel out, and it'll definitely give me more motivation to get a video out every single day and have a lot of fun in this pack and play. I think we're going to work our way up very, very slowly but surely, just like we did in Madden 25. As more and more better cards come out, we're going to get those pulls because I got the Switch, and I can pull everything. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.